Hi, my name is Shang and I'm here with Laura Dominic for the WCA's The Space Between exhibition displayed at Alpha Art Gallery. Laura, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Um, I'm Laura Domensic and I'm uh, based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I've been involved in art in a lot of different roles and I've been an artist, uh, but also worked as a, a curator, um, administrator, writer, educator. Right. So you say that you've been in so many um, new fields. So I was wondering what motivates you to explore these new fields as an artist? Well, you know, I, I think of it just as kind of uh, the creative process and they kind of blend together really. So I don't know that I, um, I kind of in a lot of ways just see it as all one field and you know that it, it uh, the, the making of art lends to wanting to um, help other people make art and show their work and also kind of just have that reciprocal kind of conversation back and forth so that my work and you know other people's work gets better um, or you just it's just such a, a great learning process and uh, so it's interesting how like one thing kind of connects to the next step and you know so you just don't know where exactly where it's going but um, you know each opportunity kind of presents itself. So what do you think your role is in society as an artist? <laughs> That's a big question. It's good that I just uh, got my bag because I did my thesis. So, <laughs> um, for me, that my role is um, I find it to be very much a search of how to be in this world. So, um, and trying to understand how to be in this world at this time. So, um, I think a lot of it is being observant and and trying to be open-minded and not and be comfortable with the idea of not knowing um, that there's so much uncertainty I think no matter what time you live in but that um, that's actually a great gift and uh, to allow that to be a part of what you do um, and maybe to help other people see that too then I think you can find so many other opportunities right. or just other ways of being. How do you choose the subjects for your paintings? I, I don't know that I choose them, but they, that I um, find them maybe, or they surface. Um, I work pretty abstractly in, in some ways, but there's still some structure. Um, oftentimes I'll start with just making marks and the repetitive motion of that kind of then um, allows me to build up a surface and the history on the page or on stone pieces that I've done. And it's not like, oh, I'm going to do a piece about this. It's just that it kind of, then starts to accumulate these other references and um, I start to learn what the piece is about. It tells me what it's about. Mm -hmm. Right, a very organic process. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, Intuitive. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so as mm -hmm. you've grown and worked as an artist, are there other artists or like concepts you are inspired by? Uh, yeah, constantly. I mean, certainly all of the artists that I've worked with in many different capacities as a curator or as a collaborator. Um, there's tons of artists in that way. Um, as, as far as art historical, uh, I would certainly say people like Agnes Martin and Gordon Matt Gordon Matta Clark and um, you know Andy Goldsworthy, um, Anselm Kiefer, just boys. I think those are all really uh, important artists and I think um, certainly artists uh, you know more recently um, people like Nari Ward and, and Jack Whitten um, I think there's a certain level of curiosity and intense investigation that happens with all of those artists. The final question a moment in your career that you are most proud of and a moment that you are most doubtful of yourself. Yeah you know I was thinking about this question and um, I almost want to say like each and every moment is both. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> that, you know, when you are kind of open to that uncertainty, it's it's like that, I think being open to that level of, um, of awareness or just openness, that that is a very 
um, brave thing to do. So I think that's when I'm most proud, but it's also probably when um, right before that is when I'm most doubtful. <laughs> um, so I think those are times. Certainly there's things, you know, like personal things like, you know, my children, my family, you know, different like events that have happened or, or um, you know, things that I've achieved, that sort of thing, you know, are certainly very proud. But along the way, there's so many doubts.